I did my best to make the lighting in this video not seem like I'm in a dungeon, but we'll see how that turns out. Hey, it's Sue. So today I'm doing the first of hopefully many uh, videos where I do book to movie reviews. So pretty self-explanatory, but basically I'm going to read a book and then watch the movie adaptation or adaptations in this case uh, of the book and not necessarily in that order. Uh, although I probably will usually read the book first unless I just happen to have already seen the movie, but and then I'm going to review them. So I read the book The Midwitch Cuckoos by John Wyndham, which is a classic sci-fi novel, uh, kind of sci-fi slash horror a little bit, um, and it was first published in 1957. And this is set in the sleepy little village of Midwich, uh, which is in the UK. I think it's a made-up village, but... But one day, the residents of this village all inexplicably just fall unconscious for several hours, maybe even days, if I'm recalling in the book. In the movies, it's for hours, but nobody knows what's going on here. There's like a, a specific radius around this village where if you cross this line, you just pass out. <laughs> and all humans and animals passed out. So, you know, the military's called in everything. They're trying to figure out what's going on here, and they can't figure it out. And then, um, after a while, everyone just wakes up. Nobody remembers anything or, or knows what was going on. And shortly after this, uh, it's discovered that all of the women in the village who are able to bear children are pregnant even those who have never had sex so obviously something weirds going on here so then the women all have these children they seem normal but as they grow up it becomes apparent that they are not so normal this is the third John Wyndham book that I have read and I really like him and this was a solid book for me um, I ended up giving it four stars um, my one thing about his writing that I don't like is that I, I don't feel like I ever feel super connected to the characters. They're not very, like, character-driven. Although I would say that the other two books I've read by him, which were The Chrysalids and Day of the Triffids, those are a little bit more character-driven than this one is, I think. Um, and in fact, The Chrysalids, like, that's still my favorite of his that I've read so far. And I think part of the reason why is because it probably is the most character-driven one <laughs> of all of his that I've read. But yeah, in this book I didn't really feel a connection to any of the characters really, but I really liked the story. And one thing that I really enjoy about John Wyndham is that, um, you know, typically sci-fi, vintage sci-fi written by men is not uh, very great <laughs> when it comes to it's a uh, representation of women. Either they're just not there at all or they're barely there and portrayed poorly. Um, but I think John Wyndham actually does a pretty good job of portraying women in his stories. They're never the main characters, at least not in any of his books that I've read so far. Um, men are, have always been the protagonists. But there are usually, you know, prominent female characters, and I think that they're, you know, represented well. They're complex characters, um, they're not damsels in distress, um, usually. <laughs> so I, I really like that about his books too, but um, I just think he tells really good stories. Creepy Children, I'm on board. Killer Plants and Day of the Triffids, I'm on board more creepy children in the chrysalids. <laughs> I'm always on board with creepy children. Yeah, so I really enjoyed the book and I would recommend it um, and just pick up some John Wyndham in general, I think, because I enjoy him. So, moving on to the movies. There's two movie adaptations of uh, The Midwitch Cuckoos and both of them are called Village of the Damned. There is the 1960 version, which was directed by Wolf Rilla and it starred George Sanders and Barbara Shelley. And then there's the 1995 remake, which was directed by John Carpenter, and starred Christopher Reeve, Kirstie Alley, and 
Linda Kozlowski. And actually the 1995 version of the movie was my first introduction to the story. I watched it probably 10 to 15 years ago, so it was a very long time ago. And the only thing that I really, I mean, I remembered the basic plot of it, so I, I knew the story going in, bef you know, before I read the book, um, or bas the basic story of what it was going to be about. But the one thing that I really remembered from the 1995 movie was that there was a lot of explosions <laughs> for no reason. And I did remember that correctly. But um, let's talk about the 1960 movie first. So this version of the movie followed the book pretty closely. Um, of course, there were some things left out and, and changed a little bit just to make it, you know, work as a movie instead of a book and not be... 10 years long. But the basic plot was the same. Um, the basic characters were pretty much the same. And I thought it was actually a pretty good movie. However, I don't really think if you've read the book or if you want to read the book, I don't really think it's necessary <laughs> to watch the 1960 version of the movie just because it's basically the same thing. And the only thing they did do that changed the plot somewhat was that they gave the children more power in the movie than they had in the book. Um, so that does like add a little bit of extra tension to a specific scene. But on the whole, it's basically the same <laughs> as the book. And as is generally the case, I do think the book was better because, you know, you can do more in a book than you can in a movie plot wise, I think, and character wise. Also, I discovered <laughs> that there's actually a sequel to the 1960 version of the film um, that's called Children of the Damned and it came out in 1964. Uh, I did not watch that mostly because I didn't know it existed until right before I filmed this and was looking up some of this information. But it does, you know, completely go off of the plot of the book so I don't think it was actually relevant here anyway but I might watch it just out of curiosity. So the 1995 version of the movie this one takes a lot more liberties when it comes to the plot. It actually adds more, kind of more heart <laughs> to it, I think, uh, which I liked. I think I did care more about the characters, um, especially one character, specifically one of the children. I'll go ahead and say that. One of the children, they kind of make you care about that child. <laughs> so I did like that about this movie. Um, however, I definitely wouldn't say that it's a good movie, but it was certainly an entertaining movie. <laughs> so I would recommend this movie just for pure entertainment value because, um, like I mentioned earlier, there's just explosions for no reason. Like anytime a car, car crashes in this movie, it explodes. Like that rarely happens, right? <laughs> and there's just a lot of like silliness I think in this movie which I kind of enjoy in a horror film. This is definitely more toward the horror than the sci-fi part. There, I mean there's definitely sci-fi involved but um, there's a lot more like disturbing scenes in this movie too. Like nothing graphic but just like makes you cringe to watch it you know. So I think that this the 1995 version of the movie is worth watching just for pure entertainment. Like watch it with a friend laugh at the silly moments and cringe at the scary moments and it's it's great fun but is it a good movie no <laughs> not really i don't think it was terrible but it wasn't great so that's my official review of that version of the movie not terrible but not great that concludes my first book to movie review um, I'm probably going to mainly stick to like horror sci-fi type stuff in the future with these just because that's what I enjoy and I also think that that's fun. <laughs> so um, if there's anything you want to see me read and watch, let me know. If there's anything, you know, more you want me to add to these, any specific things you want to know about each book and or movie, let me know. But that's it. I feel like this was very short, but um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!